Uh, let's see. Regarding the TT810 and Pure 750, would you mind going into the specs and comparisons on the, the E60 file for standard output? Coming close to making a decision. All right. So the the TTE is about $1,000 more expensive. Um, Pure Stage 3 Plus 750 on E60, uh, we rated it at 735 horsepower. Uh, the TT version is 774. Yep. So you're, you're, you know, there's another 40 ish plus peak horsepower. Uh, and what you don't see on the peak numbers is that, uh, you know, the, the A10 actually spools up faster and holds power longer. Yeah. And the transient response is better too. So the like part throttles or part RPM, and then you just step into it. You're going to come up on boost quicker. Not, regardless of like a fully loaded dyno pole from rest, yeah. it, it comes up faster there too, but the actual transient um, uh, response is going to be, it's noticeably quicker on the TT810. Yeah. Um, so, you know, the, the pure is a, is a really good option and it's a good value, but what we what we saw is you know the the A ten is still the more capable turbo with broader power band that makes just more power overall. Um, that uh, anecdotally or yeah, qualitatively, I, I didn't actually like um, those. people report that the A ten is a little or has more turbo sound. So, you know the the turbine wheel is bigger and lets more exhaust through. Um, we do have a comparison chart. Did that ever get added to the product page? Uh, with peak, we we have a we have a chart with peak numbers. I think I sent it to Nick. Yeah, I shared him on that. Um, yeah. Well back, so okay. But there is there is yeah, there's there's a couple of comparisons just to, so you could visually see on the same graph the the two yeah. as they get compared. So uh, you know as equals. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, but but you can't go wrong with either. It, what we see is kind of the 750 kind of falls between the 710 and the 810. 